Hi everybody and welcome back to the Upside Dan. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Scott Cooper horror film Antlers. So let's get into my spoiler free thoughts on Antlers. In an isolated Oregon town, a middle school teacher and her sheriff brother become embroiled with her enigmant student, whose dark secrets lead to terrifying encounters with an ancestral creature. This film is directed by Scott Cooper and written by Henry Chasen, Nick and Tosca, Scott Cooper, and based upon the short story by Nick and Tosca, The Quiet Boy. This movie stars Carrie Russell, Jesse Plemons, and Jeremy T. Thomas. So this was another one of my most anticipated movies since it was, you know, announced like years ago. <laughs> but I was very excited to finally get to see it. I saw this back to back after last night in Soho. What a great double feature it was. So this movie, I thought, really brought some great suspense and intense and creepy imagery and scenes to the forefront. I thought that they did a really good job with the creep factor here. I thought that there were some good jump scares. There were some good tense scenes where you're, I was on the edge of my seat wondering what was going to happen. Wondering why this was happening with this creature that um, this kid has, you know, locked in his attic. There's just a mystery surrounding, you know, this creature. What happened? Where's this kid's family at? Because you really only see this kid alone and he, you know, he's coming back and forth from school alone walking. So the teacher starts to kind of investigate and then she asks the principal to investigate. So they're all getting dragged into this mystery that I thought was very, very satisfying. I really was enjoying this mystery. I wanted to know why this was happening, what was happening exactly, who this was happening to, how this would affect the characters, how this would affect this little boy. They do touch on topics of childhood child abuse and grief. And I do say touch, which we'll get to more in my negatives. And I was very intrigued about the lore and the origin of this creature. I won't spoil the name of the creature because it's, it's an actual, you know, thing from myth and legends. And I don't know if it was actually spoiled in any promotional material. But yeah, this was, you know, a monster that we, that um, I've heard of from lore, but I didn't know much about. And this monster has a really cool design. I thought, I thought it was so scary, so horrific. And um, what this creature does to people is just whew, so gory. There was some very good violence and gore in this film and very good use of effects on everything. And I thought the special effects were pretty good as well. So, you know, good use of practical effects and good use of special effects. I thought they did a pretty good job with all of that. I think that the actors did a great job. I think that this kid is a very good child actor. Very, very good child actor. I, I believed him every second. That his line delivery was really good. And of course you have Jesse Plemons who's just, you know, good. <laughs> I mean, I, I, he's always a really good actor. And Carrie Russell also does a very good job here. So yeah, the, I loved the creepy imagery, the creepy scenes, you know, the, the suspenseful scenes, the mystery, the characters, for the most part, the actors that portrayed them. And for the most part, the story. I really liked all these aspects of this movie. And I do like that they touched on, you know, serious topics. But <laughs> that leads me to my negatives. They just touch on these serious topics kind of mentioning them to be honest and I wish that they dug deeper into these serious topics like abuse and grief I think that this could have been an even better you know screenplay in, a, in you know better on the big screen if they kind of went into all of that and went into even you know the characters I mean there's stuff about Carrie Russell's character that we don't know all about that she's dealt she's dealt with abuse as well but I just wish they went more into the more deep into these characters gave us better character development and better knowledge of these characters pasts I think that they could have done a better job with that so I do think that the screenplay could add a little more about the characters and the creature like I was so interested in learning about the lore I haven't seen many forms of media take on this creature and teach us about this creature. It was really interesting legend and myth to me and I wish that they dug more into the origin and you know everything surrounding this creature. So that those two things are kind of the stuff that took me out of this movie. I personally I really liked the ending even this kind of thing that they do at the at the very very end just kind of a cliffhanger leading into another one which I wouldn't mind them doing. Um, I don't know what they would do with it. I mean I do know what they would do with it. I hope that we get a more tighter script. I do think the script is good and I do think the cinematography is really good. It really gives that creepy atmosphere off but just with these negatives it made me dislike the movie a little bit more but I still I really like this movie. I would even say I love this movie. So please comment down below have you seen Antlers? Did you like it? Did it let you down? 
Did it live up to the hype if you had any for this movie? Would you be interested in a sequel? What did you think about it all? Let me know down in that comment section. If you're going to spoil anything, just label it with spoilers because this is a spoiler review. review. Please blow up that comment section. But what would I give? Antlers. Antlers gets an 8.5 out of 10 from me. That's an 8.5 out of 10 for Antlers. If you liked what you've seen here and you want to see some more, click around here to see something else. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video with the movie fans in your life. Hit that notification bell, subscribe, and come to the Upside Dan.